Sun and Fun. And I'm sitting in the Zenith 750 stole and holding hands with Sebastian Heinz. Well, I'm not really holding hands. That's what right. we're doing is we're holding on the wide joystick of the 750 stole. Now, I hesitated just for a moment because there's more than one 750 these days. There's That's a 750 right. Cruiser now. That too. is correct. Yeah. All right. So uh, differences, real quick, on the two. Well, the Cruiser, as the name states, it's a it's it's for cruising uh, performance, and it's really an on airport version of the Stoll, which is a, a short takeoff and landing off airport. airport. We love calling this the Sky Jeep. That is correct. With big fat tires on it and things that make it go not quite so fast. So exactly. for those that want to scoot a little better, but have gotten kind of spoiled, especially by for example, your new bubble doors, it gives so much room in the new airplane. Uh, so for people that want that and want to scoot along a little quicker, that's what the cruiser's for. Exactly. Well, now we're going to get out and we're going to go look at the engine in a bit. But this one, you've been a company that I've always admired because you've got a lot of builders. How many airplanes have you got? Uh, how many kits have you delivered? Full, well, full kits. We, we passed serial number 10,000 earlier this year. Now, that's that, not necessarily full kits. It's also plans that, builders. Oh, okay. But that's legitimate builders uh, past number 10,000. Wow. Now, that's that's the, the serial numbers that my dad started, you know, 40 years ago, basically. Wow. So 10,000 over 40 years. We, we know not all of them get built. Anyway, now you got a kind of a new project here that you're doing, which uh, we're calling, you are calling the One Week Wonder. Right. What's right. that all about? And we'll talk about what engine it's going to be in it later. Well, that's that's an EA project, number one. It's, it's we're doing it for and partnering with EA on it. EA wanted to demonstrate to, to its membership and to the visitors at AirVenture what what the Experimental Aircraft Association is for. Sometimes we forget what the EA stands well, for. Well, yeah, you is, watch jets fly around like that, we're doing here and they got everything in the world. Exactly. But at its heart, this is an organization that says, we help people people build airplanes. And that's, that's and a And we're gonna show you an example. Exactly. But what does a one week wonder mean? And so we're gonna basically build an airplane in a week. In seven days, we're going to start on, on Monday with the kit in a box. In and a box, okay. On the seventh day, we expect to be able to not only start up the airplane and, and, and taxi it, but have an airworthiness certificate on the airplane. <laughs> now, they're not... They're not now, that's some pretty fine coordination there. Oh, uh, well, and coordination is the key word there I'm because uh, so. that's we, we're cool going to have thing. all the hands and all the help that we can that we can even desire. There are a lot of people out there. Sure, so... But it's a question of coordinating, the, having the people doing the right thing at the right time and making sure that it all comes together sure at you know when it needs to come together uh, that's so, gonna take uh, some management good thing you've gotten a little used to the management absolutely side of the house, and so. we've already started that we've already had multiple meetings here because it's <laughs> and again it's not just Zenith aircraft company doing this there's there's the engine side right, not just your gurus but uh, we're going to try to get everybody involved in, in, in even smaller tasks. You know, you, you know the blind riveting that this uses. Right. The learning curve on that is, you know, in 30 seconds, you know how to <laughs> how to how to how to pop a rivet, so to speak. Now and you've so, done this before, though, Sebastian. Um, well, my dad did this originally in 1976 at at Oshkosh, and he built a CH200. And and at the at the time it was eight days. Oshkosh would start oh, on the Saturday. Right. It used to be a little and longer. And ended right. on the on the Sunday. So and uh, so he had a so little bit more time. Day wonder, then. It was an eight-day wonder. It was an eight-day wonder. And uh, that that kit, I'm sorry, that kit was a little different than the kit you're going to be doing here. Though. And ex excellent point. You know, back back and this is you know this is over 30 years ago. You know, right. so the kits almost were almost 40. Yeah. Exactly. The, the the kits back then, like the rest of the industry, they were more materials kits than they are today. You yeah, know, you we, had to drill holes and do we, stuff that you was, don't do anymore. There's probably today, right? not a single pre-drilled hole in those kits. Is like, that I mean, right? Your your wing skin was a piece of sheet metal. Wow. And uh, so you know, I, I admire what my dad accomplished back then. But on, on the on the downside, you know, they were there was a, a team, my dad and his partner, and and they had a couple other factory guys and and, and other volunteers. But they were they were. And, and it was experts building an airplane. They kind of showed you. Exactly. They didn't let you. Exactly. Right. So, so now you're using a process that I think a lot of people know now, but we'll identify it anyway, called matched hole. Right, right. What does that mean and how does that help? Well, that basically Sebastian? means that we, we manufacture the parts on the CNC table, pre-drilling all the holes, and then we manufacture the mating part the same way all pre-drilled and then uh, if you take the two parts you line them up together and then everything fits together so, so you don't have to have fancy jigs and you lots of knowledge about how to make all this happen you don't have to worry if you're drilling a hole in a piece of metal virtually no jigs and fixtures other than a flat table and then uh, you nearly don't need a tape measure because everything fits together 
and uh, so uh, you just basically barely need drawing for that matter. You just assembly instructions, take this part, line it to this part, and rivet it together. So well, when I was a kid, we used to talk about erector sets. That was a big deal. Every little kid on the block had it, one. This it, is kind of a giant it's erector a big set. Big erector set, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And 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 again, the skill the skill set is nearly the same as an erector set as, as an airplane. Now, of course, that's the airframe portion. You still have the engine. Avionics, sure. you know, it's uh, um, more than you can get the airframe. Yeah. Now, are you going to put uh, in the one week wonder? Are you doing an instrument panel and everything? It, everything, it's going to again, it's going to have its everything wow. in the certificate, and we expect to be able to absolutely. So, you know, so that's and and you know, we plan on using uh, again, not just uh, just the basic stuff, we're going to use the, the dyno and sky view, the with stuff that people want, all the new stuff, the cool. state of the art new stuff. Same yeah. on the engine, we're not going to put just our basic rotax, we're going to put the IS engine. The, the new, the, the latest and the greatest stuff. Uh, so well, why don't we get out of the airplane, go look at the engine, Sebastian, but then I want you to give some uh, shout out to the folks that have helped you with the process here. Absolutely. Let's sure. do that. Let's do it. Well, we're standing on the other side of the airplane now, inside of the engine box, and we're looking, of course, you can clearly see right up here, it says Rotax. This is the new 912 IS fuel-injected engine, and this is what's going in the one-week wonder Sebastian? That's right, that's right. And it's the latest and greatest from Rotax. It's actually the sport version, which I think they announced they this week. They just announced that this very and, week. Uh, that's with this new aluminum air box exactly. on it that gives it more torque, Tor exactly. which is perfect for Absolutely. an airplane with this particular for application. Short takeoff so and really landing, good, it'll be really a good decision. really good match. And I, I personally flew this airplane down from Mexico, Missouri to come here. And I, and the reason was I wanted to spend some time behind the Rotax and the Rotax IS engine specifically. And what did you think? Wonderful engine. The, the fuel efficiency, I think 4.2 gallons per hour <laughs> is what I average coming down here. And I was full 75% the whole way down because right? we were fast flying with our fast. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Here, right. So you got the, you got the, uh, you got the one, Sky Jeep here. But, you, had to, uh, you had to hammer down I, to keep up. Huh? It, I was the slow one, but I also, I had the best seat in the house because it was also, I, you know, I, again, I was already where I wanted to be. Yeah, sense. exactly. That's perfect. I, I had a lot of fun with it. The nice thing with the, with that IS engine, uh, basically it's a fade deck control in, in the sense that uh, you have a throttle and that's it. Push the uh, throttle. No, you don't yeah. even have to do, they do recommend a check of the lane A, lane right, B right, lights. Right. But you really don't it's, have to because the computer's already done it for you. Exactly. You're, you're just. A hundred times in the time it took me you, to say that. Yeah, you're checking what you already know, and I think it's old pilot habits. It's I a think good exercise, I guess. But, but, uh, but again, there's no mixture, there's no carburetor heat, there's no primer or, or uh, what is it, choke for startup. Right. And you just set the set the throttle, turn, the, push the starter, and that's all you can do. And I think, again. Let the, it warm up. That's about it. Yeah. Other than that, you're ready to go. And so. for the new generation pilots, I think that's what the industry Sure, needs. why not? This is a modern modern technology and, engine uh, just updated this week. Yeah. So okay, actually you got some help from Rotax for the one week wonder right. project. Ab absolutely. Uh, Rotax is is committing the engine, donating the engine to the project. Beautiful. Thank you Rotax. Um, and um, and, and uh, is some other people and helping then, you as well? well? The, on the on instrument panel side, the Dynon Avionics is donating one of their big uh, brand new Skyview uh, the touch? systems with the touch. All set. right, thank you, Dynon. And as well. uh, I think it's Steinair is actually doing the panel itself, donating the, the work for doing okay. some of the panels. So thanks to Steinair. Well, I'm going to do a lot of thank you well, here. Well, absolutely. It's really and, great you're getting that kind of response. And, oh, 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 and, anybody and, else you want to mention? And we've even had a hard time because you know we, we like to thank Rotax, but pretty much all the light aircraft management. Uh, manufacturers wanted to be in on this because, again, it's it's a it's a good project for it. And and uh, but as we all know, you know, it takes more than just an airframe to build an airplane. Of course, you need a good engine. You need avionics. Uh, even uh, for the landing gear, Macro Wheels and Brakes is donating uh, wheels and brakes. Uh, we've Beautiful. got a lot of different players, uh, headsets, on and on and on. Uh, well, so we'll make it kind of short for this video. Thanks to everybody but, who uh, donated to the One Week Wonder. Yeah. Maybe led by the Zenith airframe, right, but well, there's a lot more as you just said. We're the team lead because obviously we're the airframes and all these things get attached to it. But otherwise, it's uh, it's definitely a lot of other players as, as well. And I believe the uh, Air Venture uh, website about this project, they list all the sponsors and, Great. and who is doing what and so forth. And we had a long meeting uh, last night, as a matter of fact, with all the different the players in this, and, and I can't forget Aircraft Spruce because they're one of the major sponsors. Okay. All the nuts and bolts, and the same reason we all have an Aircraft Spruce catalog. For sure, right. It's a, a lot of a little, lot bit, of little stuff, maybe, but, but it's, it's the all, important stuff. It's all important stuff. So but, very uh, cool. Thanks to all the sponsors. Now you said when we were sitting inside the airplane, Sebastian, that other people could help, but I'm guessing you don't 
you don't want to be the coordinator of all of that. You're going to coordinate the project. But where, if, if I say, man, I got to have part of that action, yeah. where do I go? Um, airventure.org is that's the official website, okay. and, and I believe one of their top banners is the One Week Wonder Project. Okay. And in the next few so weeks, find all the sponsors and, and say, hey, I want to be part of that. Absolutely, okay, absolutely. Great. Right now, I know uh, EA is as as earlier this week they 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 published uh, nine paint schemes. From uh, air, was it scheme design? Oh, scheme design. Another um, company. To uh, say thank that's you right. To them, uh, so. Craig donated uh, uh, his services to design a paint scheme for it, and, and uh, anybody can go out there and, and vote on which one they want. So we can actually, <laughs> right, actually already we can get involved with this project by choosing the paint scheme, or at least voicing our opinion about which paint scheme right. should be used. So you can be part of it and, right now, airventure.org, the big and, uh, EAA website for their uh, summertime celebration of flight. And life. as we get closer, we'll be publishing more information on how everybody can get involved, what we're doing in, in, in preparatory uh, work and so forth. And, uh, and definitely You're going to be a busy guy. Well, I'm not going to oh, do know, a lot of interviews with you at AirVenture, am I? <laughs> I, I, even, I hope not because I'm going to be busy. So. <laughs> we'll leave but, you alone but, that one but, week while you but, finish this. But, I, but I hope even you personally, uh, we want to make it available for for an average person can walk up and, and get involved with it without having to sign up too much ahead of time. You know, there are 7,000 rivets on the airplane, so we hope to give maybe 7,000 different people the opportunity. Wouldn't that be cool? That's and, a really and neat we're idea. We're working definitely All right, I'll come by and pull one rivet. Only That's probably as much as you want me to do to your airplane, but uh, I'd be happy to participate along with anyone else who wants to, airventure.org. A lot of cool stuff about that One Week Wonder Project. I think that's really neat. Good for you, EAA, for getting back into that. But, okay, we're fascinated with the airplane. That's cool, but I just want to buy one and fly. Where do okay. I go find out well, more about Zenith Aircraft? Zenith Aircraft uh, company is at zenithair.com. Really easy to find us. We have a website with lots of information about our airplanes. You do indeed. Your website is full of a lot of good information. I've been there many times myself. Lots more information about all of the aircraft from Zenith, uh, all the engines that they support. We didn't mention that, but you support more engines than anybody that I can right, think of right. right off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. All great stuff. You can find all that, more videos, more pictures, even of Sebastian, on bydanjohnson.com or vydanjohnson.com. Thanks so much for joining Sebastian and I here at Sun and Fun.